adventure I'm getting myself into. I just joined a team of volunteer for a Unify Gathering, which is like a rock metal festival. It's like 176 kilometers away from Melbourne, and I need to find a way to get there today because the concert I really want to see are on. Saturday, so the day after tomorrow. So if I arrive sometime tomorrow, it's all right too. But I would like to be able to leave today. Let's figure out a plan. prepared uh, I usually do a little bit of lunch for my festivals and everything because food over there is usually very expensive on that I am prepared I don't have a tent so I'm just gonna take my sleeping bag hope it's not too cold and have some insect repellent uh, yeah just sandwiches pasta fruit everything should be fine I also have water in the freezer frozen so it lasts for longer and it's fresh longer and it also preserves my food you know multiple use that's how you prepare for a good festival especially last minute and one that's not too far away because when it's too far away you need more stuff to like keep your face cold anyways let's keep preparing finish my bags and be ready and then head to the meeting point. The thing is, I joined a WhatsApp group for the volunteer group, which it seems like a pretty trustful uh, organization and everything, um, but I don't have my ticket. And I'm not even sure I can get in Thursday night because they'll need to provide me with my ticket on Thursday night. So I need to clarify that. And maybe I'll have to sleep outside of the festival tonight. I hope not. Anyways, it should be fun and there'll be people to meet. Uh, yeah. Let's figure those things out. And follow our guts and have fun. Okay, so I was preparing to maybe hitchhike, take a train and then hitchhike, but that's not happening since I sent a couple message online and someone replied, uh, I need to be there at 3 p.m., which is like in three hours and a half. And it's a little bit outside in, up to, in the suburbs of Melbourne, so I'll be there quickly. Um, yeah. Uh, that's that's kind of like everything fast-paced I should probably be working Uber Eats right now or doing other stuff to just make money but that's not what I'm doing I'm having fun that was part of the plan when coming back here for the summer <music> past 12 30 past 12 p.m. Uh, I can I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I have everything I need for like two three days I've checked online and if I want to get in on Thursday I actually need to pay like they have like an early access thing which is $150 and it comes with a whole bunch of goodies but I don't care about it so Hopefully, since I'm getting in with a volunteer, and I'm kind of a volunteer, 
they'll let me go into like the volunteer uh, campground or whatever they have uh, tonight. If not, I'll just have to wait until Friday 12 p.m. Uh, to get in. Uh, it should be fine. I'll figure out a way. I don't mind. It's, it's going to be a busy area. There's going to be plenty of very nice people, I'm sure. So I'll find something to do. One note though on that situation about the festival happening on Friday and Saturday starting at 1 p.m. on Friday and uh, the day before the Thursday is not included in the pass. It's totally not cool uh, because every festival that I know of, at least in Europe, lets you get in a day before when it's a couple of days so that you can set up camp and everything. Uh, I'm sure it's only like about two hours away from Melbourne, but if people want to go to the concert on Friday and they don't want to pay 150 bucks more, they have to get there uh, and it's only opening at 12. So they have to get there and they have about one hour to set up camp. It's just, it's, it's, it's a scam. It's basically a scam, not allowing people and making them pay 150 people, $150 to set up camp. It's, it's not cool at all. I don't know how it is possible that things are happening this way over here in Australia. I've talked with some people from Australia and they're like, oh yeah, but things are different here in Australia because everything is kind of exclusive and it's like they're almost the only one. Fuck that. Have some respect for people and try not to scam them, asking them $150 for one more night at the campground, some stuff they probably don't care about. And, and yeah, it's just, it's, I, I, it's, I don't even understand how people are actually doing it, but they're, they're actually not leaving them a choice. It's, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's just, it's a scam. Uh, on the other side about that rant, uh, because of that situation, I am pretty sure that some people who don't want to get scammed will be around the festival today, which will be great for me since I'll be alone and I'll be probably be able to find some people who are doing the same as I do, waiting for Friday 12 p.m. to get in. You, you're making people just do, do stuff that they're probably going to spread all the dirt in places you don't want to them to spread waste and things like that because you're greedy don't do that just don't it's just not cool and I, I, I'm so I'm, I'm realizing how much it is of a scam and that makes me angrier and angrier each time I think about it damn it how how people can be like that <laughs> is secured here at the train station and uh, I'm in one of those suburbs that goes forever around Melbourne uh, 20 minutes early to meet the guy who I'm riding with over there uh, yeah It'll, the bike will stay there like for probably three to four days hopefully it'll still be there when I come back it's probably a very quiet suburb so no big deal. 
As usual, I am very unlikely to film or at least to talk during the ride. So I'll meet you at the festival. See you in a couple of hours. And we'll see how I figure things out once I'm at the festival. Obviously, I got into the festival, uh, like you might be able to see around me. I don't know if I'm technically allowed to be here because I have no bracelet whatsoever, because I need to get them tomorrow, uh, which is fine. Uh, hopefully, they'll just not see me until tomorrow, and then tomorrow I get my stuff. So, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the night and have fun tonight. Uh, the people I've met uh, are really nice and just letting me through and things like that. I'll just try to keep a low profile until tomorrow. Uh, yeah, there's no concert whatsoever, but there's probably some parties happening everywhere around. Let's go check it out. filming for the night uh, uh, there was some cool bands playing over there uh, probably some others I don't know we'll check later on but I'll stop filming uh, and we'll see you again tomorrow I'm not gonna finish the video here because I'm gonna make a video about the whole thing even though it might be a little bit long but that's it's the way it's gonna be uh, all right uh, see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have all my passes and all my things to be clear until Sunday and Have some good time <laughs>
uh, having a blast, uh, got my bracelet sorted out, I can access this little lounge over here, and yeah, meeting people, uh, having fun with the neighbors at the campground and in the pit, yeah, so good, everything, so good so far, uh, like I said, I don't know many bands today, I'll have more fun tomorrow, I won't cover the concept of clowns, because uh, I've already covered a bunch of concerts of them and I'll just do Pagan uh, and then the rest depending on what I feel like is good uh, anyways let's keep enjoying that crazy festival filled with very nice and good vibes very nice people and good vibes and and have fun let's keep doing that see you at my next stop probably this evening Good fun on Dreamers, whatever uh, band. I was pretty good. Uh, really, I, it's not my cup of tea, but really good performance. And you can see that they're doing what they're doing really well. And a guy got knocked out. Pretty strong guy, pretty beefy guy, just knocked out, and they had to drag him out of the the, the pit. So that's how that happened. I wandered around the campground with some of my fellow campers and we'll end the night with Carnival and some of the bands that I just, I'm not sure about. But yeah, I think, like I said, first day, don't know any bands, just discovering some stuff. What just played, I missed it, but it seemed quite big, quite good. Uh, just gonna check what's next. Let's go.
Yeah.